Hello and welcome to Tech Deals How To Guide How To Update And Maintain Your Solid State Drive. Some of you may know this, but I'm willing to bet at least a few of you don't. Did you know that your solid state drive is a full computer in and of itself? It has a processor, it has RAM, and it has storage. Now, I'm sure all of you knew it had storage. That's why you bought an SSD in the first place. That's the NAND. But it also has DRAM. Many of them have up to one gigabyte of DRAM to run the programs and host the lookup tables for the actual NAND flash itself. And then there's also processors. Many modern SSDs have dual and triple core processors, not even just a single basic processor, but they have high performance processors to enable them to be as fast as they are today. Now, there's actually an operating system on your SSD. It's referred to as firmware, and you update that using the SSD toolbox software that each individual company provides. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download, install, and update a Crucial MX500 and a Samsung 860 EVO. These are SATA SSDs, but the process works the same for NVMe drives as well. Other companies such as Adata and Intel also have their own SSD toolbox. Western Digital, SanDisk, etc. also have one. You'll have to download the SSD toolbox for whoever made your SSD, but most major companies have one, and it contains a way to seamlessly update the firmware, as well as check on the status, health, and life. You can see how much data has been written to it, what percentage of the drive uh, life is left, and on some SSDs, such as the ones I'm going to show you today, you can enable a life extension and performance enhancing feature. On Samsung, it's called Rapid Mode, and on Crucial, it's called Momentum Cache. What these do basically is take about one gigabyte of your system RAM and use it to buffer reads and writes to the drive. A bunch of random writes would normally have write amplification. It would actually write more to the drive than you're writing. I don't want to get into the technical reasons for that, but, it, but it's true. If you write large amounts of random data, more total bytes are actually written then you actually wrote of data. It's just the way SSDs work. But what that momentum cache or rapid mode will do is it'll take those and reorder it into a sequential, reducing the right amplification on your drive and reducing wear and tear. It also improves performance because that information is dumped to RAM and then dumped to the drive's cache, and then it gets written in the background, making your system snappier and more responsive. Now, to use both of those features, I do recommend that you have a UPS or uninterruptible power supply connected to your system. If any data is temporarily, it's not very long, but if any data is temporarily in the rapid or the momentum cache in your system RAM and you suffer a power failure, there is a small risk of data loss. The manufacturers recommend that you not enable it if you don't have a UPS. Now, if you're on a laptop, you sort of have a UPS built in because you've got a battery in your laptop. But if you're on a desktop, have a UPS connected, and then you can get better drive life and better performance. Before we get started with the guide itself, linked in the video description below will be links to Amazon and Newegg for all of the drives that I've discussed in this video so far. Those are affiliate links. They do support the channel. If you like my how-to guides, please consider using those when shopping. Whether you buy those drives or any other SSD, if you follow my links before buying, then it supports the channel at no extra cost to you. I would appreciate it, and then I'll just keep making more of these videos. Thanks so much for the support, and now let's go full screen, and I'll show you how to install and optimize your SSDs. Starting with the Samsung, you'll need to go to Samsung's website. Links to this will be down in the description below. Simply scroll this down, and the first thing you need to do is to download Samsung's Magician software. The current version is 5.2, but it's going to vary, of course, with time. You're going to need to download and install it, and it's what you'll use to enable rapid mode and to update the firmware. Samsung Magician supports all of the retail SSDs Samsung has released, dating all the way back to the 470 series. Now, since I have both drives installed on the same computer, I'm going to go ahead and download the Crucial software. Crucial Storage Executive is what it's called. Most likely running a 64-bit version of Windows, so click that. Just like with the Samsung, as I mentioned, you get the uh, benefits. You get enable the momentum cache. You can download the latest firmware and see how much storage that you've used. The Crucial Storage Executive supports all the MX and BX drives and the old M series drives, M500 and M550. So basically it supports almost everything from many, many years ago. Having installed the programs, we're now gonna open Samsung Magician. First thing you might notice right in the middle, it says drive condition good, 0.2 terabytes written and firmware version old version. 
This is where you simply click the update button and it will update the firmware. Don't do anything else with your drive until you've done this. It's gonna check compatibility, it's fine, new version. It will simply put the new version of the firmware in the SSD's storage. It doesn't update until you've done a reboot of the system. So it doesn't do it live in Windows, at least in Samsung Magician. It's copying at the background here. You don't see anything happening, but it will take a few seconds. There it goes. That was real time. I didn't trim or cut that so you could see that it does take a few seconds. You don't need to panic. Just be patient. Just sit there for a minute. Now it wants to shut down the system. Of course, don't be running any other programs when this happens. You can simply hit the shutdown button. It will power off the computer and then you'll need to manually power it back on and that's when it will load the new firmware during the next boot. Once you're back into Windows, it should say firmware version latest. The actual number will vary depending upon what drive you have installed and what it is. Next, rapid mode. Here's the button itself. Click it, it'll switch to on. It'll say, please reboot your computer. It will require a reboot and then it's running. There's nothing else you need to do. Your Samsung SSD is fully updated. Here you can see the total bytes written to your drive. In this case, I've actually used this drive some. It's got 4.7 terabytes written to it. Most modern SSDs have hundreds of terabytes worth of drive rights available to them. Unless you intentionally abuse a drive, you're not gonna wear out a modern SSD within its useful lifetime. Now it's time for Crucial Storage Executive. This program will actually update more than just Crucial drives. It will actually update quite a few Micron drives. Crucial and Micron are the same company. Crucial's the retail side of things. I have a two terabyte Micron 1100 OEM drive installed in this machine. Now the firmware has already been updated on it, but if you look at drive one here, you'll see that this is actually a Micron 1100. It's not a retail drive, but it is supported and it will be updated by Crucial Storage Executive. These two terabyte drives are some of the least expensive uh, two and a half inch SSDs on the market. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to look at the Crucial MX500. You can do a live firmware update with these. You can't with the Samsung. Here, it will basically update the firmware live while you're running in Windows. Now, I've done this multiple times. It's fine, but you should still reboot the machine anyway. I wouldn't want to do this and keep using it for any extended length of time. But if you need to delay a reboot for a brief period of time, you certainly can do so. Check it or not as you see fit, but I've frankly had very good luck with it. But of course, I've always done a fresh reboot, done a live update, and then rebooted anyway, so it may not really matter. That's it. Firmware update is complete. It is not a big program. We'll come back here to drive details. We will click on the drive itself and presto, latest firmware is installed. That really is all there is to it. But now you have the latest updates for your SSD installed and that's all there is to it for that part. Now let's go take a look at Momentum Cache. Now Momentum Cache, same as Rapid Mode, you can enable it to get extra performance for your system. In this case, you can see it's recommended you enable it for your boot drive. That's a true thing. Notice that it says a reboot's required and in the upper right hand corner grayed out, it says no battery detected. I actually don't have a UPS on this. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. My actual machines have a battery on them, so that's good to go. At this point, your system would reboot and then momentum cache will be enabled and you will get less drive wear and a faster system at the same time. Well, there you go. Both drives are updated, complete rapid mode, and momentum cache is enabled for the drives. There's a lot of steps there and a lot of talking, but I'm also trying to go through it step by step, and I'm covering two different drives, which I imagine most of you aren't going to have, so cut that in half. It really only takes a couple of minutes, and frankly, if you have an SSD that is one day old or five years old, check its firmware and make sure it's up to date and good in good health. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below. Questions, comments, and thoughts down in the comment section below. And as I noted earlier, please check the links in the video description below. In addition to the affiliate links to Amazon and Newegg I mentioned before, you will also find links to my Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and a variety of other things down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I will see all of you next time.